want to welcome Christy Bollinger to the WHHI family for the summer. Chrissy, you're going to tell us about what's going on out and about, but first of all, tell viewers a little bit about yourself. Of course, Bob. Well, my name's Christy Bollinger. I'm originally from Katy's, Kentucky, which I'm pretty much a long ways from home here in Hilton Head. Uh -huh. I attended school at Western Kentucky University, which I just graduated last month with a bachelor's degree in broadcasting and criminology. I'm 21 years old. I'm down here for the summer, interning here at WHHI TV, also working at the Sandbar and Frosty Frog Cafe, making a little money. Um, this is my third summer here on the island. I love it here. That's why I keep returning. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to have you here. Let's start talking about Thank what's you. going on, beginning with uh, the big musical of the summer that'll be going on at the Art Center. Yeah, of course. So, Mama Mia is coming to Hilton Head here at the um, Art Center in Coastal Carolina. The performance is taking place on June 14th until August 5th. So they're having a preview performance on the 14th and 15th. Tickets are tickets for adults are at around $40, $40. and then for children 5 through 12 they're going to be $33. The full price ticket shows are going to air June 16th up until August 6th and then those prices for adults are going to be $50 and then for the children it's going to be $41. Yeah, folks need to be watching uh, the different uh, media to find out uh, when tickets become available. Yeah. And, uh, they're available now but uh, the best ways to get them of course at artshhi.com. I've uh, also got the uh, Sandbar Beach Eats opening. Tell yes. us a little more about that. Yeah, of course. Okay, so um, Eric Rowanski, she is the owner of Sandbar Beach. It's just opened in Caligny Plaza, right near Credit's Coffee, um, right beside the Kangaroo Gas Station, too. Caligny is a great, you know, really big touristy spot sure. in the summer. So she thought, you know, what a better place to put it. And also, she used to manage the Steamer Seafood, which just recently closed down. And she's been in food and beverage for years. And she thought, what a, what a better time to open a restaurant, a dream she's had for quite some time. And just opened Saturday, May 27th, during Memorial Day weekend, which was a really big weekend. Um, sure. It's pretty, um, pretty big deal to open that weekend because that's one of the biggest times for food and beverage industry, obviously. All right. Um, and the menu, tell you a little bit about sure. it. They have a catfish Reuben, char grilled oysters. It's a beach inspired comfort food. There you go. It's more so what the menu's like. Um, prices vary. You can get a sandwich for like twelve dollars, or you can get oysters for twenty-one dollars. There you go. So it's a little bit for a little bit of something for everything. Absolutely, for everyone. <laughs> everyone. Yeah, and, and of course, on that uh, day when you've had enough beach and you've had enough of all of that, a great day to go to the Coastal Discovery Museum. They're always busy in the summertime. Tell us a little bit about uh, what's happening there. Yeah. Of course. So the Coastal um, Discovery Museum is take is having a reptiles and amphibians of the Low Country program that's taking place all summer long. It started June first. It's going to last until August thirty first, and it's going to be on Thursdays from two to three p.m. Basically, what the program's trying to do is, you know. I guess enlighten the people on these reptiles and amphibians. You know, they're often misunderstood animals, you know, and they're fascinating creatures. So I think they're just trying to, you know, show people, trying to take away the negative stigma that follows alligators and snakes, <laughs> you know. There you go. Well, we'll probably see you uh, playing with the alligators and snakes before the summer is over. <laughs> yeah, probably <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, though, Christy, for the info. We also want to thank Helen Ryan, Charlie Clark, and Steve Alford for joining us. And thanks, as always, to you for checking us out on the Hilton Head News. Next week, a special sit-down with Mayor Bennett on the state of the island, where we are, and more importantly, where we're going. We hope you'll check that out.